this sample uh, code, you can make a copy using git clone. Uh, first, we're going to get the SSH version of the URL, and we'll use the git clone uh, utility. And we'll just create a sample folder, uh, or we're going to rename this repository to sample on our local uh, machine. And now we can go into that repository. And right now we only have two files. I'm going to use GNU make to run the make file. And the contents of the make file has two targets, one for installing Express uh, using Node's package manager, and then the other for running the uh, sample code. So here I'm going to use the install target to run the command. It would be equivalent to running the npm install command. And now if I run make, it'll take the default target, uh, which is node api.js. So I could type that instead as well, but um, because I have a make file, I'll just use the make file. So now I have localhost running on three, port 3000. And so here on the other side of my uh, terminal, I'm gonna create a new pane so we could browse the endpoints available from this code. Um, let's take a brief look at the code itself. So we have here two get requests and one post request. So the get request for the root endpoint will say we have two endpoints, one and two. One is a get request and it will retain, uh, it will return JSON name one. And then for endpoint two, it's a post request and it will return the body that you send to that endpoint. So let's take a look at this. So let's say uh, we want verbose mode to view the headers and the body. So here we have the headers and it shows we're making a get request to the endpoint, the root endpoint, and it returns the body content, which says we have two more endpoints. So we could take a look at the get request for the first one. And let's say for instance, um, here, this is what we expected. Let's say I want to change this to a different request type. So let's try the post request. Well, that doesn't work because we only have a get request to this endpoint. And for post, we would have to use a different endpoint. So let's uh, take a look at that um, curl again. Only this time I'm going to use endpoint two. And here I'm going to say, I'm going to specify the body of um, uh, the, the data that I'm sending in is going to be of the JSON type. And then my JSON object is key and value. And here I didn't specify verbose, so it only returns the body, which includes uh, exactly what I provided. Now, if I said here, I changed it to name equals two, well, I'm going to get name equals two uh, back. Now we could edit this API a little bit just so that you could see how you can make changes on the fly. Here we have, uh, let's try here. If, no, let's try saving the data. Let, let name equals request.body. Name. If name equals, and in JavaScript, you want to use three equal signs to say equivalent string. So, what I want to do here 
is have something very similar to this except if it's this one we'll print out and not a JSON type but just let's try let's try that okay so now let's try this one now if we change the name then we'll get that otherwise if it matches it'll be what we expected